I'm very pleased with uh, what ABUS achieved in 2012. Uh, it was a, a great year, both in uh, deliveries and uh, in uh, order intake. We uh, have delivered more than what we expected at the beginning of the year, and we have got uh, more orders than what we expected, despite the 2000 year, which was exceptional, if you remember, more than 1,600 gross orders. We uh, have globally uh, achieved what we wanted, which was to increase again our backlog. We have uh, the record backlog of industry. You can see 4,682 aircraft, uh, which uh, means uh, right now more than seven years production. We uh, have uh, had uh, big successes with NEO, and uh, we have uh, achieved uh, 62% market share compared to the competitor. This is 2% uh, higher than John's target. <laughs> we uh, have also started uh, to market the 350-1000 with uh, uh, two big successes. I'll come to that. We have passed two uh, very important milestones, 20,000 orders since the creation of Airbus and 9,000 single aisle. We have uh, more than 500 Airbus customers and operators, and as we are growing, we are uh, also recruiting, and after close to 5,000 recruitments in 2011, we achieved 5,000 new recruitments in 2012. We have 59,000 people worldwide. If I put on top the subsidiaries like Premium Aerotech, like Aerolia, uh, PFW, we are uh, probably above 70,000. Uh, direct employees. So uh, keep that in mind. Uh, notwithstanding the, the partners working for us, uh, we are, uh, I think, uh, bringing a lot to the European economy, and uh, uh, this is uh, what I expect we will continue to do. 588 uh, deliveries. I do want to point out that's a record. Uh, so there were some actual records uh, uh, last year. 914 uh, gross orders. That's the fourth largest uh, year, the fourth uh, biggest year in terms of order intake in the 42-year history of the company. So that's not too bad. 41% uh, uh, market share. We stayed within that band of uh, 40 to 60. And about 4,700 uh, aircraft in backlog. That's not just a record for us. That's a record for the industry. The backlog has never been that high. One year isn't a trend. You've got to look at the two years together, because 2011 was a record year for us. We expected that Boeing would come back in 2012, so add the two together. And where do you end up? Well, you end up with Airbus in the lead, with 52% uh, in terms of units uh, on essentially a gross and net basis, maybe 1% different. The uh, 380, uh, we delivered uh, uh, 30 of those. Uh, but something a lot of people don't realize, 97 aircraft flying out there, Every uh, six minutes, an airplane is taking off or landing somewhere in the world 24-7 on a revenue flight. This airplane has now become integrated into the air traffic network. The Neo Max story. Now, that is one that we think you're going to see in future years. Why? Because we started earlier. Why? Because we have a better product. Why? Because they can't get too greedy in Seattle. They probably are going to have more than 50% of the wide body market. Uh, we'll keep uh, more than 50% clearly in the very large aircraft market like the A380. And I do believe that the market has already spoken in terms of evaluating our products. We'll stay up to 60%. We really don't want to go much above it, but up to 60% in the Neo Max battle going forward. 2013, so 350 largely not limited to that, but largely uh, first flight, then uh, the subsequent flights and, uh, and uh, uh, tests plans. 320neo, we will be ready to assemble and test the first aircraft with a GTF, and uh, uh, the LEPEX of CFM will be ground tested around the summer this year. Uh, on the 380, uh, we need to secure this wing retrofit. Everything is in place, but it is a complex uh, uh, 
thing to do, to, to do it uh, fast for our, for, our, for our customers, and also uh, implement the new design, what we call the line fit, in the new aircraft F-380s, which will be uh, delivered early 2014. Then orders, uh, commercial, I'm not sure uh, John will accept the challenge, but uh, uh, I set the goal at uh, uh, 700 gross sales, plus 30 military aircraft, and deliveries, uh, we will deliver more than 600 commercial aircraft, uh, 28 military, and uh, we will deliver out of them four F-400M to two uh, European airlines, uh, France and Turkey. These are the, the targets, top level targets for 413. Last point on supply chain is still for me a priority. And uh, we need to tighten our supply chain management and to have better performance from the suppliers. Uh, we uh, expect that uh, the stability of the deliveries uh, will help them uh, catch up on that, uh, but uh, this is something that uh, we will look at very, very uh, carefully. And I will constantly repeat that, uh, Airbus focusing on speed, on agility, on uh, simplicity, on decision making, and the last point, on innovation. We should not be complacent. Uh, we are investing a lot in new developments. We are investing a lot in research and technology. But I want also my people to keep in mind that our future depends on our capacity to innovate. And so uh, we uh, will also uh, progressively increase that uh, and also make sure that uh, we uh, uh, have a spirit of uh, innovation like uh, uh, the uh, young Airbus in the uh, 70s.